So some basics to understand that the medial epicondyle is a secondary growth center. And it appears around 6 years and fuses the shaft by the age of around 14 to 17 years. So you'll see a small speck of ossification and then it fuses and it remains there for a very long time. And quite often this fracture, epicondylar fracture is all, quite often it's an avulsion fracture because all the strong flexor muscles are attached there. So when they have an injury, it's, it's avulsed from the medial epicondyle. And it is an extra articular. So you have to understand that there is a, he was also talking about medial condylar fracture where the condylar is, is nothing but the trochlea and part of the epicondyle. So this is purely an extra articular fragment which is having the muscle attachments. So based on the displacement, this can, they can be classified. So somebody can notice any changes here in this X-ray? This is a common scenario. In fact, in my earlier days, I did this mistake of missing these fractures. So when you get an elbow X-ray, this is how it looks. And you don't see any medial epicondyle there. You are supposed to see something there. And the same thing is in the joint. It's, it's called an incarcerated. So literally the joint is having that fragment and quite often they are very unstable. And what do you do? And again, the first lecture, if you remember, you do an opposite elbow x-ray. Quite often in pediatric practice, whenever we are in a confusion status, we are not able to see what is ossification, what is, which one is, we don't even remember sometimes, just get an opposite x-ray. You can appreciate that, that that fragment is missing there. The simple getting an opposite x-ray can fix this. So this, once you identify it, the treatment will be easy. The same thing was shown in the previous classes. This is not my case, this is Dr. Harish case. So here you can express, you can, you can definitely see that the dynamic study is important. Whenever we have uh, a suspicion of a medial epicondylar avulsion fracture, always examine them clinically. So what, what do you see? See that you can, he's giving a valgus force, the fragment is just trying to move downwards. So dynamic examination is a very important thing, especially under an image intensifier. And that, that case went on to have an open reduction. So it's very important to have an index of suspicion. You need to suspect first for that x-rays and then examination is very helpful. They can be fixed once you identify by any means. If you are dealing with a bigger child, probably a screw. And most of the smaller kids can be managed with the simple k-wires. And all the fragments will fall on back. And it is, how common is this fracture? They are quite common. They are not, uh, they are not that common. In fact, in my whole lifetime, I would have seen probably five or six. Of course, I don't uh, work in a, a trauma setup, but these fractures are quite rare. Not like a supracondylar fracture and lateral condyle fracture. They can be missed. And usually between seven to 15 years, they occur. And 50% of the medial epicondyle fracture are associated with the elbow dislocation. That means some instability is there. So we should not take it for granted. So this is what I was telling you, incarcerated. The fragment is gone inside the joint. They can be totally missed. This is just a diagrammatic representation, what really happens. And the fourth diagram will be the fragment coming inside the joint. So what are the complications if you don't identify and if you don't treat them? Either they can go for a non-union, totally, if it is completely incarcerated, things like that. And obviously, there can be a major instability in the elbow. So my take-home message is, have an index of suspicion for any elbow injury in a child. So if you examine them clinically, you will notice that medially there may be hematoma, some skin changes, edema. And then, of course, with the dynamic examination, you can get all the uh, messages, whatever you are looking for. And opposite x-ray is a simple tool and quite often helpful. So displaced fractures are always managed with the intervention with a K-wire or open reduction. Thank you so much.